And it's been a tough week for Donald Trump. It's a good week. This is like um, my father taught me to be a boxer. And the only way you find out how good a boxer is when you hit him in the face the first time or he gets knocked down the first time. Uh, my father uh, was convinced that Muhammad Ali was a great champ when he lost to Joe Frazier and came up off the canvas and fought back in the 15th round. Uh, Donald Trump, I think, is positioned very, very well. I'm going to tell you why. The fundamentals remain the same. Okay. America wants change desperately. America doesn't want Hillary Clinton. She is a liar, proven over and over again. She's had a life of committing one crime after another, going back to being the bag lady at the Rose Law Firm for bribes to get business with the state of Arkansas. Wow. Every, everyone, every, everyone knows it. The hidden, the hidden papers under the bed in the White House, the selling of the Lincoln bedroom, becoming a uh, persecutor of Monica Lewinsky, uh, who turned out to be telling the truth. Uh, a woman who's taken money from Saudi Arabia and claims to be a feminist and women aren't allowed to drive in Saudi Arabia. I can go on and on and then we can talk about her emails and we can talk about the other emails that are going to get revealed, I'm absolutely sure, because if the Russians don't have all of them, they're not the Russians. Yeah, well, WikiLeaks said that there's going to be more. But Mayor Giuliani, several reports say that you, along with former House Speaker Newt Gingrich and RNC Chair Ryan Priebus, are leading this Trump intervention. Yeah, yeah. Let, Tell let, us let, about that meeting. So first of all, I find the word intervention com completely uh, out of line. Yeah, I agree, I agree uh, with I, you I, on that. I, uh, uh, that. That word, I think, honestly, and I, I love him dearly, but I think that word was used by Newt in, in, a, in a memo that got around. Uh, what a ridiculous word. An intervention is for a drug addict and it's for uh, uh, someone who's uh, an alcoholic. Uh, and I've had to do them with people at times. Right. And there's nothing wrong with them if that's the case. Uh, Donald Trump doesn't drink or smoke, by the way. Yeah. So we don't so, have so that problem. So what was this meeting so about? There, there wasn't a meeting. I've never, I, I, I meet with Donald Trump all the time. I met with him two days ago. I spent two and a half hours with him. We talk. We talk about issues. Sometimes we, we make changes. Sometimes he makes changes. It, it is not different than any campaign I've ever been in, including my own, in which I made changes probably 20 times. Uh, it's, it's an evolving campaign. He's a new candidate. That adds a little bit of uh, uh, more, more of a learning curve than would normally be the case. But uh, you get bad weeks and good weeks. Ronald Reagan changed his campaign manager after he got nominated. And he took the campaign manager of his, of his adversary, Bush, Jim Baker, after, I think it was a month, two months into the campaign. Mm. And uh, uh, Bush, the elder, started the campaign against Dukakis 16, 17 points behind. And then he went and hired Roger Ailes, and he won by 12%. Mm -hmm. well, now, Trump is in much better shape than that, much better shape. We've talked about this, though, and, and people, we all follow Mr. Trump very closely. But to use your boxing analogy, these seem to be self-inflicted blows where he says something that causes, and you can blame the mainstream mm. media, but that, that people take issue with, yeah. well, even people who want to support him. And, and I, those people are upset right now. They're upset, yeah. and they want to be reassured that okay. you are talking to him, that I, Newt's I talking am, to him. I am, I am. But I'm going to tell you something. The Democrats are a lot more loyal than we are. So Hil They get in so, line. Oh, Hil 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 Hillary Clinton? lied to two gold star mothers. We know that, right? Because we have the telephone conversation with Chelsea explaining what the bombing, uh, what the attack was all about. And then we have her lying directly to two gold star mothers. You're going to tell me both those women are not telling the truth? Now, how come Democrats aren't all upset at her for lying about it? How come Democrats aren't all upset about the fact that she was found to be grossly negligent in handling national security affairs? How come Democrats aren't upset about the fact that if I were the head of the FBI, she couldn't pass my FBI clearance but to have a job she, as an assistant U.S. attorney. She said to Chris Wallace, that's not what I heard from the FBI. That's not what well, I heard. She, I mean, she just denied well, because it. Because she lies. How come there weren't any Democrats on Monday after the Chris Wallace interview saying, gee, we're really worried about our candidate because she's one of the biggest liars that ever ran for president. I mean, I, 
It, it would take two hours of your show for me to list all her lies, and it would take another two hours to show you all the crimes she's committed. If I were, if I were the U.S. Attorney in New York, she'd be indicted. But the now. reason that so, people are upset about Donald Trump is because they feel like that these are small things that are completely avoidable. No, it's because Republicans can't keep their mouth shut. It's because Republicans. Uh, re first of all. It, it is true. He sort of annoys them. He's the outsider candidate. Right. All the Republicans whose hands are shaking and they're all nervous and they're sweating, uh, maybe because they haven't been through too many tough campaigns, uh, these are all the Washington insiders. But did he Donald have to Trump, say, I'm not there yet, on Paul Ryan? Well, what, what did Paul Ryan say about him? Yes, Paul Ryan said that about him. But <laughs> if, you know, if, you know Donald, if you know Donald Trump, you know, like Ed Koch used to say, you hit me, I'm going to hit you, and then we'll make up. Uh, should he have said it? I don't know. Whether he should have said it or he shouldn't have said it, but Paul Ryan is a big enough man and a smart enough guy to realize I did it to him, so... Right.